Hmm. Guys, lose both of your thumbs or lose both of your toes. Big toe, big toe. Guys, you need big toes to talk. I'm just saying. I'm oh, sorry, I'm not, not, to walk. To walk, not talk. You need big toes to walk. Just saying. Can I ride with my thumbs? I mean, just think about it, okay? Your big toes are basically a big part of balancing. Guys, think about it, okay? No, no thumbs and no toes. Which one is it? No toes, really? Why, guys? Not thinking about, like, how much you use your legs every day. You literally wake up to walk. You wake up to go to your couch. You wake up to go to your PC. You wake up to go to school. Literally, you you wake up just to take a shower, to eat. You're gonna have to walk places, even in your house. I'm an artist boss. I need to use my hands more. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. You choose to lose your thumbs. No, I don't know. I'm just giving you guys stuff. I can walk without toes. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can't really... Use use if you don't have thumbs as well but just to get to places by losing your toes is really hard i can definitely walk to walk with toes i think you can you just can't like or like jog what about this lose one butt cheek or side of your chest there you go left or right though ah any balls you'd rather lose your balls ah yes how do i walk without a butt cheek <laughs> no left booba or no right butt cheek there you go why specific i don't know i was choosing if you sit on a toilet you might fall in just saying okay i'll get rid of the left I don't need it. Left booba? Okay, guys, what's your reasoning, okay? I need to know. I'm flat, no problem. <laughs> I'm saying lose your chest, okay? Not just the booba. Someone cannot have a butt as well and lose a butt cheek. You know what I mean? Like that. What about this, okay? Lose both ears or lose one eye. Lots of one eyes. Oh, really? Can I still hear? Yeah, kind. I mean, you just don't have the protection of the ears. The ear canal. One eye, one eye. Really? Interesting. This discussion has made me appreciate my body parts. Of course, don't worry about it. Wait, I got you. You can see with one eye, but the depth perception basically is non-existent. One kidney or one ball. I mean, either way, I, I live with both. I feel like I'll save someone with a kidney, so I'll give I'll, I'll give a kidney. I only need one, you know, one kidney. But the balls, though, I don't know if I can give balls to someone. No taste bud or colorblind. If I was born with colorblindness, I can't really complain because I don't know what it's like to <laughs> see colors. So I'll, I'll take that. I think I'll take colorblindness. Like literally, if someone tells me, "Oh, this is green," to me. That will also be green. But the color in my eyes sees it. But to someone, how do I explain this? If I say a water bottle is like green to a colorblind person, to them, that's what green looks like anyways. Compared to taste buds, kind of just eating to survive. But how do you know what green looks like? That's what I'm saying. To me, that looks like green. Even though it looks different to other people's eyes, that's green to me. And the green might look like... Might look like gray, but to me, gray is still green. So I feel like, you know, I'm not colorblind, but I feel like I wouldn't mind too much. Until someone tells me. Left or right balls? <laughs> no balls. No balls. No thanks. No balls. Goodbye, bloodline. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I don't know. <laughs> Left or right? I feel like it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Whichever dominant balls I have. Like, I, guys, I don't know. <laughs> Right thumb or left thumb? Oh god, I'm ambidextrous, I can't really sh- Okay. God, I don't know! I guess I would choose my right hand. I feel like I eat better with chopsticks with right hand. If you gave, give me that, choose my right hand. I don't know about my balls though. What the heck? A dominant ball is an actual thing. 